Hi and welcome to my playhouse and I'm still in the basement and I'm cleaning up the table. I've just cleaned it up for the drill bit video that I did some videos ago and today I'm cleaning up a power supply and you might remember this, this was a power supply out of an IBM 3950 X3 that had it had a bad power supply and I exchanged it. I actually bought a new used power supply for it um, because I opened up the old one. We can just go to that. I opened up the old power supply to see if I can find any errors but everything looks very nicely inside and well it took me half an hour just to open this up and I did try to dismount these caps because I thought that they might be faulty. I took this one out, I also had this one out and both of them was fine. And well, now it has been sitting here for a couple of months and I think I want to get rid of it. But there is a lot of good parts in a power supply like this and many power supplies are alike. Uh, many of the same components you will find in another power supply. So I want to save as many of these components as I can uh, so that I can maybe fix another power supply. Let's say I have another one of these go boom and one of these goes or one of these goes or whatever goes. I would like to have that but I don't want it to be sitting on a shell like that. And it, it has all this metal over here. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that out, but I want to take out all the good parts and put them in my cupboards Which I have over here like cupboards for electronics and stuff and it's always good to have those full of good stuff So to get all the good parts out of here I could of course go and use my soldering iron over here uh, Which I'm actually I think I'll turn that on we might we might need it but I also have a ordinary heat gun that I mounted on this rig that I've been using in another video where we uh, took out a socket from motherboard and tried to put in another one. But I'm gonna use the heat gun to just heat up the solder on the, all the components and just take them out with a pair of pliers. I'm gonna try that and see. Okay, moved it over here. I'm gonna disconnect the two boards from each other because that's a mess to work with there let's just start with this one take off um, a device like this there's really no reason to disorder that you can just cut off the wires like that now we have a very nice connection there and it it has some I would guess that these are capacitors to to remove noise I'm just gonna let those sit they might actually be good to have on there. So that's that. I'm gonna turn this on. Start heating. And I'm gonna remove this plastic that is on here as well. I don't know, that might be melting. Bad idea. And let's just heat some of this up. That's a low. There are some components on the back side here and some of them are pretty like this one is a big thing. So I'm gonna take those out first. Okay, it has heated for a little bit so now uh, things are loose. So I can just take some of that off. Just heating a bigger area here, so I should get a lot of good things right there. It's starting to fall off the, the, the other side as well. This one just fell out. This one just came out. It's a tiny bit of 
hot. So with the first print emptied out and all the components laying over here um, and finding out that it's uh, much more comfortable bearing gloves I'm now off to the second board here and uh, just for filming purposes it's still on low just heating up the board a little bit Yeah, this bit, it, it does take a little bit to heat up this big an area but I'll do that board as well and this is just trash now I'll get rid of this. I don't. Uh, I did not take off these SMDs. Um, oh, I'm probably never gonna exchange a chip like that. So it's more the bigger pieces that I think is interesting. Here is all the components that has come off and over here is the board and that's cooling off right now and these gloves did a really good job so I was able to more or less peel components off. I broke this one and I lost, I lost one of these, a, a tiny bit smaller than this one and it flew over here somewhere and has not been seen since. So that's kind of weird. So this whole board just dropped off was sorted in I think yeah it, it was sorted in but well, well when it got really hot this just dropped off I'm not gonna be trying I don't know I'm, I might go disorder some of this this is really simple but one of the hardest things was these um, you can see I got them off all the way and more or less it's because of this mega big heat sink that uh, well it takes a lot of heat to heat that up to uh, disorder the lakes of all these very nice MOSFETs I think this must be but components like these are really expensive so this is like picking the RAM out of a dead laptop ish um, if, if you get the right ones they're really good and can be really expensive so that's awesome so I've been sorting a little bit in all of this. All of these are heatsink. I've taken out the components. These are MOSFETs. These are probably also MOSFETs. Oh, and this is a different kind of MOSFET. Um, I haven't looked these up. These are connectors. They're always nice to have. Here is electrolytic caps. Electrolytic caps, smaller electrolyte. This is a cap also. Uh, two fuses and uh, other caps and I think maybe I found why this power supply have failed I don't know if you can see this but this is bowed out it has a bow to it it's not supposed to have that I don't know if I heated it too much this one has a little bit but well it might be those two that had become bad I'm not sure uh, there is some smaller stuff over here the surface mount components there's a lot of resistors some LEDs, a heat sensor, I don't know, this might be a heat sensor also, um, have this connection, it just fell off, I heated the board so much that all of this connection just fell off, and that's a big power connector, and I have some heating things for the MOSFETs and the transistors, and over here is a lot of coils, noise reduction thingies yeah, different, different kinds 
the transformer in noise with this something. Probably never gonna use all those, but well, might as well take them off. Probably pretty expensive if you want to go out and buy one. Well, so now I can get this off my... I forgot to mention the fan, of course. It's probably a pretty good quality fan that is in the power supply like that, and that still works. So um, I'm gonna sort these out in my different small boxes around the basement workshop here. Uh, not gonna bother you with that, but just um, say thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye-bye! Thank you.